Danny Delval, thank you so much for joining me here and answering questions about our upcoming trip to Barcelona and Mallorca through Avanza Sports. I'm super excited. Uh, excited to see you again. Also excited to get to come back to Spain and train in some beautiful facilities. Yeah, we are so happy. Uh, there's been uh, this uh, thought about joining uh, both uh, brands for a long time and it's finally a thing so we are very happy to collaborate with uh, Parenting Aces podcast so thank you for having us. Of course, of course. So I thought I, we could use this opportunity just to answer a few questions that I'm getting from parents who are considering signing up for the trip. Um, we do have a brochure and the link for the brochure is going to be in the notes down below so check that out. But before we go there, I um, want to just kind of ask you some general questions. Firstly, who is this trip for? So basically, it's uh, we open it for everyone uh, that is looking for a, um, a training uh, methodology, like Spanish uh, training methodology, and like open to everyone that uh, has a, a minimum level that knows how to compete, that has already been uh, doing some tournaments and that is ready to, to learn and, and have fun. So I've basically been telling people it's for junior players ages 12 to 18, but if they're younger than 12, they can be considered as long as they have a parent traveling with them. Is that correct? Correct. So this time we made it uh, eight year old as the minimum age um, and then all the way to 18. Uh, but yeah, this is a conditioning that uh, if they are um, younger than uh, 12 years old, they need to travel with the with the parent. So talk to us about what this trip is going to include tennis wise first for the kids, for the kids to start. Yeah. So for the kids, uh, we're going to divide the trip in, in two cities, in, in two parts. One is going to be Mallorca. That's going to be a full week of training in Mallorca uh, with the, um, in the, at the Rafa Nadal Academy, of course. And they're going to have uh, tennis during the morning, tennis during the afternoon, apart from uh, other activities like conditioning, uh, mental coach, and some matches too, of course. And then the other part is going to be the part in Barcelona where we're going to spend uh, two days there and where we're going to be training in one academy um, that is a di different uh, style than the academy in, in Mallorca. It's not as new, but it's also have one of the best coaches in Spain and we want them to try try them all. I love that. And the juniors that join us on this trip, they are going to be staying in the dorms at the Nadal Academy with the full-time players. Is that correct? Correct. So um, uh, they're going to be staying during the week in Mallorca in the, in the dorms. It's uh, a residency for players inside the academy. And in the part of Barcelona, they will be staying in, a, in an hotel with our, our chaperones and our, and our staff. And then for the parents and siblings that that may want to join the junior player, what will they be offered? So we have uh, different types of family packets. Um, the first one is for the ones that want to join all the activities, but they don't play tennis. Uh, this includes all the, um, the hotel in Barcelona and the hotel in, in Mallorca. It includes uh, the transfers uh, to the airport. It, it, it includes also the flights uh, to, to Barcelona. And, and also there's the other package for the ones that uh, want to play tennis where we include the adult tennis program from the academy. And we have all that pricing laid out very clearly in the brochure. So I want to encourage everybody to take a look at that brochure. Danny and Avanza Sports have done a great job making sure that we cover all the bases and that we offer something for everybody that wants to join us on this trip. What should junior players expect out of this trip? I mean, are they going to come there and the coaches are going to completely change their strokes or what types of things are going to happen tennis-wise for them? So 
Of course, I mean, in one week, there's no miracles. They are not going to become uh, Rafa Nadal in, in one week. But uh, what I'm sure about is that they'll have the, the, the keys to keep like uh, doing the right thing to improve as much as possible. You know what they we try to to do in, in the academy. It's basically give uh, the kids a methodology, give uh, them the way we think it's uh, important to train, uh, not only inside the court, but outside the court. And the way where like uh, the Spanish players grew up, you know, like training, uh, the methodology and all that stuff. So it's uh, a lot um, that they're going to be doing, a lot of training, a lot of intensity. And I think that they can take, if, if they come with the right attitude and the right motivation, I think it's, it's a very positive uh, training for them. What's the difference in a junior player coming on this trip through our partnership versus just contacting the Nadal Academy directly and coming for a visit? Well, um, basically, um, the difference is that um, we add the, the value where um, everything is uh, under our organization. We can um, expect them to, to, to have all the facilities in case they are injured, in case they, they want to, to train in another time, in another court, or they want to uh, do all that stuff, uh, doing it with us, it's, it's way easier. Uh, apart uh, from the, the, the workshops that we're going to do with you, that you're going to be talking to them and, and also helping with their um, development. And also that they don't have to worry about anything, you know, like everything it's uh, planned and organized by us. So they just need to enjoy, like um, we are there to, to make the best experience possible. Let's talk a minute about the workshops that we're going to be doing. So we're parenting aces, me. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. We're going to be doing some workshops for the players and also for the parents that are in attendance, correct? Yes. I'm yeah. very excited for that because that's something we wanted to do for a long time. So I'm very excited for, for that. And I think it's something very, very necessary, not only for the players, for the, for, uh, but for the parents, you know, like to have uh, also the keys, you know, to how to, to, to mentalize, how to grow as a player and how to grow as a, a parent of a player, you know, that sometimes it's not easy. Um, and I think you have the right um, the right mentality to 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 show them. Thank you so much for that. We're also hoping, fingers crossed, that the timing is going to work. That maybe Rafa's going to be on site. Maybe Uncle Tony's going to be on site. Maybe Rafa's family's going to be on site. We never know, right? We never know. I mean, um, I hope we are lucky. Uh, as you know, like uh, he lives like five minutes away from the academy, and like he's uh, almost every time that he's in my is in the academy. But uh, as you know, he also travels a lot. So hope we are lucky. If he's there, the plan is to at least hopefully get him to come meet our players and and the parents if they're around. Um, we can't guarantee that, of course, but it is something that we're working on. So want to just let people know that. Um, let's quickly touch on the off court activities that are going to be available for the players and for the families that come. So, um, well, as you know, Mallorca is a, a beautiful island in in Spain. And apart from the hard training, we want them to to have fun. So they're gonna have plenty of of activities uh, inside the academy, but also outside. They're gonna have the chance to go to the beach. They have the chance to to play some other sports. Um, and also in Barcelona, we will have the chance to visit the city. I think it's it's important and people that travel from so far away, uh, they have the chance to to visit another culture, another another city. And it's gonna be a lot of tennis, but we will try to to bring uh, different things uh, to make them have the the best time possible. And for the families that are not signing up for the tennis package, uh, there'll be a lot of opportunities for them to do some exploring as well, correct? 
Of course, yeah. I mean, um, for me, it's one of our best islands, and I think it's uh, if they can have uh, a great time if they rent a car or they they just try to to visit the island while uh, the kids are playing. They also have the chance to to try to play tennis or or or, or um, if they want. So there's plenty of things to do uh, in Mallorca and in Barcelona too, of course. Yes, absolutely. So the trip is planned for July 18 to 27, 2025. Oh, nice. The pricing yeah. is all broken down in the brochure. So again, I want to encourage everyone to check out the brochure, the links below. If you have any questions or need more information or are unsure if your child is a right fit for this program, Danny has very graciously offered to field any questions via his email or on WhatsApp. And again, all that information is down below. So check it out. Um, Danny, anything else, any last words you want to leave us with? No, I'm just excited for, for this experience. And again, if they have any questions, I will be happy to, to answer them. Thank you for your time. And we hope to to make this happen. Absolutely. Just quickly, the deadline to register for the trip is October. October 1st. Yeah. October 1st. There are limited spots available. So please don't wait. Go ahead and book your trip. Uh, we just need a small deposit up front. So if your plans change, you know, that's okay, but get signed up, get committed Hold your spot so that you do have this opportunity to travel with us to these two beautiful places next July. Danny, can't wait to get back to the Academy. Can't wait to get back mm -hmm. to your beautiful country. And thanks again for joining us. Thank you so much for your time, Lisa. I'll see you soon.